The Northwestern Rascal team recently competed in a competition sponsored by Bayer, in which they had to build a rocket powered only by 100 Alka-Seltzer tablets and water. McCormick sophomore Manon Shaw describes the experience. We didn't win because we had like some technical difficulties with mm -hmm. our altimeter, uh, so it didn't actually record what our height was, which was kind of sad. We also sprung a leak on the launch pad, which was even sadder. <laughs> As you can probably hear, the Alka-Seltzer rocket launch was a very exhilarating and emotional experience for the team. Most of the projects that the club works on take up to five or six months to complete. According to the president of NU Stars, McCormick senior Monica Berg, the students dedicate considerable amounts of time to the club. As it gets closer to competition, they're putting in 10-hour, you know, 20-hour weeks wow. um, building the rocket. and. We do everything from scratch, pretty much. The work is grueling, but it ends up being very rewarding for the students. But then to actually, like, see everything, you know, like, know that you put in all this time and effort with all these people that are around you, and to see it actually, like, come to fruition, it's just, it's really incredible. So you get to share that moment with, you know, your 15 closest friends. Though the Rascal team did have a disappointing launch at the Bear Alka-Seltzer competition, Shaw still thoroughly enjoyed the experience as a whole. It's really exciting to see everyone else's rockets launch. Uh, because, you know, they've put in about as much work as we have. Uh, they obviously had good ideas. And sort of with them, their own emotional journey of how high will it go? Will it actually work? In the future, Shaw hopes to be working on solving big challenges in space, either with the government or with companies such as SpaceX or Boeing. Some of these challenges would include making it easier and more efficient for humans to go to space and making rockets more reliable so that they're more similar to airplanes. Basically, working on sort of conquering the final frontier as it were. <laughs>